Hi everyone, this is Katie, and today marks the season two launch of my podcast, Staying Connected, where I talk to other people about their stories with VEDS or vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Season one was like three years long. Season two launches today, and an interview will go live every two weeks until December 18th. I'm really excited to share this season with you. Today's episode is an interview with Mike DeCourcy, a man with VEDS living in Dallas, Texas, who also has a son with VEDS. I'm gonna share a clip from his interview interview where he's talking about kind of what he went through and how he coped with a major medical emergency after you know, several years after his initial VEDS diagnosis. I'm going to go ahead and go to this clip and I'm going to link to the full interview in the description down below and I hope you enjoy it and I will see you soon. So how did you how did you kind of cope with that uh, that surrealness coming out of that situation and now coming into life but having lived through that like what did that feel yeah. like yeah it's um I mean it is like it was life-changing for me um it, it just kind of reframed kind of my whole perspective on life honestly mostly for the better, which is, which is the positive out of it. But I, I mean, I remember joking with people within the first few weeks of, of getting out of the hospital um, because I physically, and, and even still to this day, I'm, I'm now five, five plus months from surgery. And so, um, you know, my recovery has physically has been in the last couple of months, I've made a lot of great strides, but Ironically, the the recovery has been mostly due to just the fact that my blood wasn't getting that blood flow and circulation. So um, we we think at this point there was some muscle and, and nerve damage done, not really associated with VEDS, just from the fact of having the lack of blood flow um, in parts of my leg. Doctors are are optimistic that maybe it's not um, complete long term but we're still kind of assessing that. And they said it could take six to 12 months to feel um, completely normal again. But I, I've, I'm optimistic based on the last couple of months, like, cause the first few months I was still limping and going through it. And that the reason I'm harping on the whole physical aspect was as challenging as, as that was, it was really the mental recovery that was, or is still, it's not like it's over, but that mental recovery is, the harder part coming out of something like that. And I feel like I did a pretty decent job turning to a lot of the support. Like I, I, I started going to the uh, vet support group right after that. And in hindsight, I, I wish I had gone earlier, but um, I'm glad I took advantage of it when I did. And just to kind of be around people that really knew or, or went through a lot of similar things that, that I had just gone through mm -hmm. really helped me you know, feel like I was not alone during that time. But the mental recovery is an ongoing process and one that's, you're never really kind of done with. Um, you're kind of always working on with VEDS. Yeah, I agree. It's never, a, even with just, just the diagnosis itself, like that feeling never fully goes away. It's just this, it just becomes a little different or you deal with it a little bit differently. Exactly. Thank you, Mike, so much for sharing your story. Again, everyone, you can find the full interview on all major podcast players and on my website, which I will put a link to in the description below, and I will see you soon.